Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your host Arne and Carl. We are in Oslo doing all sorts of shenanigans and one of the things we wanted to share with all of you are some of our favorite museums and places where we go for inspiration yeah. and I think that probably the number one Arne is what is behind us. This one, the Munch Museum. It's new, it's very beautiful and there are a lot of Munch in in the museum, of course, but there's also exhibitions that changes. So there yeah. are Munch paintings together with the art, newer artists. Or yeah. yeah, so it's a very interesting place to go. And there's an interesting backstory too. So when Munch died uh, in the 40s, he left all of his work, of works of art, to the city of Oslo. Um, about 1,200 works altogether by him, and they were housed in the old Munch Museum. Uh, we just happened to live next to it for four or five years yeah, we and we go. never went. We were thinking, let's do it tomorrow and yeah. to tomorrow never came. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then wow. a French friend of ours uh, said to us, we have to go. We went, we were gobsmacked and now we can't live without Munch. But anyway, the story is that uh, those 1200 works of art were, were housed in a very inferior museum. The building was not very good. And then there was a there was a fight here with, with, between all the local politicians about building this museum. Some of these politicians did not understand how important Munch is as an international artist until one of the versions of the screen was auctioned for $200 million or something at Christie's. And then it then took more understand. fighting and more, you know, blah, blah, blah. They were blah, blah, blahing for many, many years. Um, and then eventually they, uh, they filmed, uh, they, uh, sorry, they built this museum. Um, and uh, it was inaugurated in 2021, in October. Mm -hmm. And we have a membership, so we come here all the time. The architect, Juan Herreros, he's Spanish. Um, and there was a very fun series as well uh, yeah. that the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation made. That was like, they showed how they prepared for the moving of the art and how they moved the art. It was very interesting. Fascinating. Very fascinating. Um, so now the 1200 works of art have a better home. And there is no other artist in the world who has a museum like this. 13 floors dedicated to Munch. Amazing. So this is a place you have to go and yeah. see if you're ever in Oslo. So this is what we'll put as number one. And if you only have time for one museum when you're in Oslo, this is the Do one. This one. This is the one. And if you've ever knitted our sock yarns, uh, you will understand where our sense of color comes from. It comes from the same place as the master in there. So we are in front of the National Museet, the National Museum here in Oslo. And this is one of the top museums in our city and one that you have to visit. It is an architectural masterpiece and the interiors of this museum are incredible. It will take you probably more than a day to see everything. So uh, if you come, just spend a few hours here. Or it's maybe so much to see. a day. <laughs> or a day. <laughs> yeah. You've got collections of art, of course, master painters, Norwegian painters. There's a Munk room yeah. that is quite incredible. And they have a lot of dresses from the old Queen Maud, which is also very interesting. Yeah. And, and Queen Sonia. Some of Sonia and the Crown Princess, Metamodic's yes. garments. Yes, so. this museum consists of art, architecture and design all in one. And uh, there's even some pieces in here that we made. Unfortunately, not currently on display. No. But all you need to do is go to the museum archives and uh, check out Arne and Carlos and you'll see what the National Museum owns that belongs to us originally, yeah. or that we created. It doesn't belong to us anymore. Anyway, a beautiful architectural masterpiece. Also go up to the top and enjoy the incredible view of the Oslo Fjord from up there. And uh, yeah, come and spend a day in this beautiful museum, which opened in 2022 mm. in the summer. Very beautiful. Love it. Love, love.
So this is the Astrid Fernley Museum, a museum for modern art, and it is really worth seeing. Yes, this museum was uh, designed by Renzo Piano, the same uh, architect that designed the Centre Georges Pompidou, the Beaubourg Museum in Paris. Um, it consists of two buildings. Uh, on the building closest to the water, uh, there are temporary exhibitions with uh, world-renowned modern artists. And then on this building on the other side of the water, uh, across, is the permanent collection which houses works by Damien Hirst, Jeff Kuhn, Tracy Emmons, and many of the world's renowned modern artists. This is a private museum uh, owned by the Astrid Fernley Foundation and it is really lovely. Yeah. So take a look at this one. The area is very nice too. The area is called Schuvholmen and it is actually at the end of Akebriga crossing the bridge. And yeah. Schuvholmen means the, the thief's, thief's cove. cove? Right? Holm? Holm? I don't know. <laughs> or the thief's island maybe. Island. Holm. Kind of. What's a Holm? Holm. Holm. It's like a thing in the water. Yeah. So <laughs> the thieves. Peninsula. Peninsula, maybe. Or island. Know. Or yeah. something. something. It's this. This thing <laughs> in the water. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, these are the top three museums in Oslo that you have to visit. There are many other museums, of yeah. course. And uh, galleries, small yes. galleries. There's a lot of things to see. Yeah. Among other small museums that are worth mentioning are the Muse Holmen Kolmen Museum, the Museum of Gustav Wigeland and yeah. Yeah. And Queen Sonia's art Stables. stable behind the palace. Yeah. Very interesting. So many, many museums, but if we're going to pick the top three, these are it. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe uh, and uh, make sure that uh, you uh, are turned on your notifications so that you never miss an episode yeah. and memberships is a great way for you to get more content <laughs> as we do uh, shenanigans and uh, live streams we offer knitting help fun emojis and a whole other bunch of things so thank you for watching yeah see you bye